Good day everyone. We will discuss about plant manual failover of always on availability group in this video. Let's get started. Consider we have two database servers, JB sub iPhone primary, which acts as your primary replica, and JB sub iPhone DR, which acts as your secondary replica as far as your always on availability group is concerned. So these two replicas, as far as the availability group is concerned, is uh, configured using an asynchronous commit. Planned manual failover are mostly performed during planned activities such as test disaster recovery or patching. So activities such as this is uh, going to be planned well ahead of the time and we know like when we are going to uh, perform the failover. So let's consider if the replicas uh, involved in this particular test is going to be asynchronous. Since it is going to be in planned failover, what we can do is like we can change the uh, commit mode of the availability group from asynchronous to synchronous and allow the uh, failover mode to manual and then initiate the failover whenever is required after the database is synchronized. This is some how we will be able to perform this particular thing ensuring like there will be no data loss. To support a planned manual failover, the current primary replica must be set to synchronous commit mode and the secondary replica must be configured for synchronous commit mode too. And the secondary replica should currently be synchronized with the primary replica. To manually fail over an availability group, you must be connected to the secondary replica that is to become the new primary replica. So what we'll do is like uh, we will uh, uh, perform this um, um, uh, on the uh, uh, lab machine wherein uh, we will um, uh, see the availability group properties of this particular setup and then we will uh, try initiating a uh, planned manual failover. So if we look at it here, we have an uh, availability group called uh, JBAG. So if we look at the properties of this availability group, what I'm able to see is like we have two um, replicas. The primary one is JB sub iPhone primary and the secondary instance is uh, secondary instance of the replica is JB sub iPhone DR. And what we can see here is like the availability mode is uh, currently set to asynchronous and uh, the fa mail failover mode is uh, uh, manual since it is in uh, asynchronous commit availability mode. So what we are going to now is like we are going to initiate a uh, planned manual failover on JB sub iPhone DR replica. Now, so what we'll do now is like we will change this uh, availability mode from asynchronous to synchronous. And then uh, uh, before clicking on OK, what we'll do is like we will look at the always on availability dashboard. So looking at the always on availability dashboard, what we can see here is like the primary um, um, replica is basically showing it as showing the synchronization state as synchronized and uh, the secondary which is your JB sub DR where we are going to fail over is showing the synchronization state as synchronizing because it is in uh, asynchronous commit mode that is configured. So what we'll do now is like we will change the synchronization mode from um, uh, uh, sorry the availability mode from uh, asynchronous to synchronous and then we will click on OK. So what we'll do now is like let's try refreshing it and then let's look at it. So now if we can see here well the JB sub DR which is your secondary replica is also synchronized now. So let, what we'll do now is like we will connect to the secondary instance where we have to do the failover and then go to the availability group and then let's right click on that and click on failover. Click on next. So we don't have any uh, uh, data loss here because we have changed the uh, availability mode or the synchronization mode from asynchronous to synchronous and waited for uh, the synchronization to complete between these replicas. So let's click on next and then click on finish. So as soon as we do this, um, uh, the failover is completed and this way, for any um, activities where we are uh, performing a test, we will be able to fail over the availability group um, without any data loss. And what we can do is like once the failover is completed, we can go back and change the availability mode to asynchronous. Or if you're going to fail over again back to the primary, you can leave it as synchronous, perform the planned fail back again, and then you can change it as appropriate. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.